Okay, so we're going to quickly name the parts of the foot that you're going to have to remember when we're talking about the foot, especially when we're trimming, when we talk about the heels, the pillars, the toe, the apex of the frog, the base of the frog. Um, trying to think what else. The, the heel buttress, the seat of the corn, uh, things like that. Because these are all things that you need to recognize when you're trimming. Okay, so when, here we have a front, this is a back foot, and it is shaped slightly different than a front foot. Okay, the difference is primarily right here. It's more squared off. Do you see that? How the sides here are a little more squared off, not quite as oval, and they're a little more pointed. Uh, I had a coffee bone, which I could show you that really marks the difference. Right here you can see the difference, even more so, without the um, covering of the sole corium and the lamina that covers the whole foot. Okay, This is a coffin bone out of the horse's other back foot. And this is, so this is back foot. Again, they're a little more squared off than the front foot. Try to remember, oh, okay. Now here are the horse's two front feet. And as you can see, the toe is not round. It's oval. Okay? So... Front feet are oval, not round. And back feet are, I don't even know what you call that. Okay, because it's kind of square here, and then it's kind of square here, and kind of square there. It's kind of a, a square oval or something like that. But there is a difference, and so you have to trim them a little different according to the shape. Okay, so... Right from, right here is the center of the toe. And another thing you have to remember is though we are calling this the horse's foot, technically it's called a toe because it's a single bone. Okay, and it's like the bone in your middle finger. In fact, you'll see pictures where they'll show the bones going up the horse's leg being just like the bones in your middle finger here. Okay. So, but still, they call this a toe, all right? So, but this foot has a toe, right? And that's, we, we consider this area the toe. And this area up here, the dorsal wall. Here's the hairline. Here's the bottom of the hoof wall. So, when we talk about the dorsal wall or the dorsal, the dorsal wall, but the dorsal wall at the toe would be this portion going from about here to here. And it is the same length from here to here in the toe wall. Once you get to about here, it starts to curve around the side of the foot. That area is called the pillar. At least that's what some people call it. And uh, the sides of the toe or the pillar, okay, which are from right about here. Let's see. Start right about here and then right about there. All right. And from here, right here to about here is the quarter. And from here to here is the heel. All right, let's do that again. This is the toe, and it goes to about here on each side. So right about here on each side. From there all the way over to here is the pillar. Right about there. And then from there 
all the way to here is the quarter, and from here to here is the heel. Now, you're going to have to remember this when you're trimming, because when we're trimming, we're not just looking at the sole, and we're not just looking at how long this little bitty part of the heel is here, but when we talk about the heel, we're talking about this whole area in here. And you have to see, be able to see and recognize each individual part and get it trimmed correctly. Now, on the inner foot, it's got the same thing. To right about here, you see how this curves up here? Okay, where it starts to curve up right here, that is where your pillar starts. See, your horn tubules are pretty much the same length from here to here, right about to there. Then they start getting less as you go around the corner. So right about to here is your toe. And then starting about here, going over to here, is your pillar area. Then from here to here is your quarter. And from here to here is your heel. Okay, so now you'll know when we're talking about, the, if, when I'm talking about the quarters, or I'm talking about the pillars, or I'm talking about the toe, right? Okay, so you've got to hear something seven times before you retain it, so I'm going to say it again. From here to here is your toe. From here, here to here is your pillar. And from here to here is your quarter. And from here to here is your heel. Same thing over here. From here to here is your toe. From here to here is your pillar. And from here to here is your quarter. And from here to here is your heel. All right. And this is, well, let's see, that's the dorsal wall, the front of the wall. This would be the pillar wall from here to here. This would be the quarter wall from here to here. And this would be the heel wall from here to here. And this would be the sole of the toe. And this would be the sole of the pillar. And this would be the sole of the quarter. And this would be the sole of the heel along with the heel buttress. <clears throat> okay, now, here's your frog, here's your bar, right here, this going around here is your wall, the rim of your wall that grows down from here, this area here is your soul, this is your bulb right here. This skin that you will also see in the heel that comes around the whole foot at the top is connected to the hori peri horiopal, periopal band. <laughs> the skin is your periopal, which covers your bulbs here as well. And you'll see the skin right here a lot of times in the heel right there. <clears throat> this is called... This area from here, a lot of times it's kind of a triangular shape. It's called your central sulcus, which starts on the inner foot right here. It goes to right here. Did I already say this is the apex of the frog? And this is the base of the frog. Just like on the inner foot, this is the apex of the frog corium, base of the frog corium, or what they call the dimple right here. All right, so <clears throat> when we are trimming, those are the major parts that we have to remember and know. So that when I'm describing something to you, okay, you, that's what you're going to see in your head. When I, when I tell you to take a measurement from the hairline to the ground of the dorsal wall, that means... That first you get your foot 
and you put a ruler up like this and you mark all the way down to the center of the toe. So you put it right down the center of the frog and you mark a little mark up here. Then you come up here and you get in the center of the foot right here and you get a ruler and you put it down the center of the foot and you draw a line and you measure the dorsal wall from the hairline to the ground. Okay. Now, when I tell you that you need to measure the pillar, that means you're going to want to come over here about, well, let's see, about so far. I'll give a better measurement than that. But you're going to want to come over, oh, let's say, how long, how far? I'd say about three quarters of an inch. Uh oh. Get up there. About three quarters of an inch. <coughs> and there is where your pillar starts. And you're going to want to measure from there to the ground. Then you're going to want to come around the side to the end of the pillar and measure from there to the ground. Okay? I don't really measure the quarters. Or the heels but this part is very important to measure because it really gets away from you okay and so in the mapping I do a lot is based on the measurements of this dorsal wall due to the fact that when we trim it we want it to be shaped like this inner foot because for the most part we have not been doing that including me and moi here Okay, let's compare. This is his other front foot. Look at the difference. See there? This is a front foot. This is how we've been seeing front feet, as round. But I want you to look at the inner foot. Is it round? No. So we have been leaving the pillars long and it's been rounding out our foot. And so the horse's capsule is distorted in this pillar area. This is the true shape of the foot here. This is a lie. Okay. Um, I'll show you another lie. Darn lion feet. Again, this is the front foot. Notice the difference. This front foot is trimmed right. This one ain't. Where is it long? Is it long in the toe? No. Where is it long? It's long in the pillars here. Let's put this up here. Okay, I can get this so you can see it. Okay, see how this foot is shaped? See how this foot is not shaped? Where is it shaped wrong? In the pillars here. They're high. Okay, see? Now you look at this foot. The wall is shorter, starts receding in length from the hairline to the ground as it gets from the time it starts here at the end of the toe and it goes around the pillar. See? Just like the inner foot does. Okay, this foot does not do that. Look at the length. From here to here and here to here is as long as or longer than the toe wall, which is right here. Oh, I'm not in the center. There we go. Okay, this should be shorter from the hairline to the ground in the pillar area. And then as the capsule goes back, it should relax here more, be angled. The hairline should be more angled down like that. And uh, the, the width of the wall, the length of the wall between the hairline and the ground 
should gradually recede to the heel to be about like that, to where you have about a 20 degree angle here. Okay, so this is why we need to know what parts we're talking about when we're trimming and when we're mapping. Okay, like we might look at that and go, gee, that looked, that looked like a good foot, nice and round in the toe. But they're not round. They're oval. Front feet are oval, not round. And due to seeing them round, we've been leaving this area from here to here way high. And our feet have not been developing into what we want them to, which is a perfectly fitted hoof capsule. The same shape, form, dimensions as the internal foot, as it's supposed to grow to this internal foot. All right. Okay, now, something I want to point out here, because there are going to be some people that watch this video of this foot that I have trimmed after it was dead, okay, and they're going to notice something, okay? What they're going to notice is that when I hold this foot up level, okay, there's no ground contact and there's a, there's a big arch, Right there. You see it? From here to here. Okay. Now this is not because the foot itself was trimmed incorrectly. And what I'm going to show you in the videos coming up is um, how this is caused by the distortion in the heel. Okay. Where the heel has, and the heel has been pulled under and it's taken this whole capsule and it's twisted it upward forming this false arch here now in the way you'll see how I trimmed this foot and the way that I trimmed this foot will start this capsule correcting itself it's not the trim that's wrong and it's uh Not because the foot is shaped, which I'll show you like that. But what I've done here is followed the shape of the internal foot. But because this portion of the wall is distorted, it's causing an arch right here. And we put it up right here. Consequently, when the heel straightens out, back here this heel okay this heel is going to move back slightly about like so it's going to add wall into here it's going to allow this to relax down and it's going to take this arch right here say out of the foot and set the foot down the way the inner foot is supposed to be setting so I'll show you that in later videos, but I just wanted to point this out to you. Um, just in case you noticed that, okay? Horses don't naturally have a foot where all the weight's being born right here. Okay, once this wall relaxes here, it's going to set this area of the foot down. And uh, I had a gal that I know that's on our hoof group, okay, do a trim like what I will show you on this foot. And when she first trimmed the horse, yeah, he was a little bit tender because she trimmed the walls correctly according to the shape of the internal foot and uh, within and he was tender at first but within a week all this had relaxed and he was sitting on the ground and he wasn't tender at all anymore okay so <clears throat> I want to show you a foot 
uh, that did uh, what I told you this this foot was gonna do once you you trimmed it right and you know a foot where the heel was pushed forward creating a false arch in the foot and so I'm gonna use different group members and their horses to show different things and um, that foot I was showing yet I'm gonna trim that I've already done that video but I haven't posted it yet but I wanted to do this one first about the different parts of the foot but I thought since I was already explaining a little bit about this false arch that uh, I would show you Linda Marie's horse here she's one of the <clears throat> one of my first uh, Yahoo group members and she's a good friend from Canada and uh, so anyway I have this new trim that I've been doing that follows the internal foot and me and her were chatting on Facebook one night while she was at her barn and I walked her through the trim uh, on Facebook chat <laughs> so anyway and this has a lot to do with uh, how you measure the dorsal wall on the on the outside which I'll explain later but anyway um, this is her horse chip that she got now now chips was mostly out to pasture and and hardly ever trimmed and so uh, and the pasture is kind of soft and stuff like that and she just uh, bought him here a few months ago so um, I'm gonna show you chips feet if I can find things here okay okay so um, you can see here how the heel here's the heel has been pulled way forward it's very long and it's clear under the center of the foot in the quarter right here and uh, you can see how this whole chunk of hoof wall here has been shoved forward creating a crack right here in the pillar um, sometimes it it won't create a crack here it'll create a crack right here when this part shoves forward and whatever in front of it doesn't want to move that's where it's going to crack and so that's how you get quarter cracks and cracks in the side of the hoof which we'll go through that in more detail but you can see how badly that piece of hoof was cracked right there all right so we're gonna look at at the trim I talked her through a trim now right here is where I told her to measure the dorsal wall right here and uh, she was also which she did you can't really tell here this I believe was three inches and then this was or three and a quarter inches I can't remember there's a way to measure to tell how long your dorsal wall should be here and then she was supposed to draw a line here that was a little shorter by a quarter of an inch because as I showed you in that other foot the the foot goes up like this it doesn't go down like that and so anyway she was gonna she was I was walking her through this trim on this horse and uh, we'll go to go to paint okay so here's Chip's foot now the nice thing before she trimmed it right over here to the left now this is before she trimmed it and uh, he has a very strong dorsal wall right here that is the only thing that held this whole heel and everything from running straight forward like that but he's got very pretty good dorsal walls here with pretty good connection um, but his heels got long and I'll explain to you how it pulls this whole area down and back and under okay so I had her do this trim that I am going to describe to you but it set the foot like this do you see how um, it's actually touching in the toe this isn't a very good picture it should have been taken more from the side but there's quite an arch here in the foot do you see that okay but about a week later now this is kind of a dark picture here but you can see how relieving it the way I showed her totally helped the foot relax the hairline totally relaxed here and the foot right here that was so high right here just lowered now 
we want to kind of look at this because let's see here I'm gonna take my little drive thing okay get yellow get big okay and we're just gonna follow the shape of the foot so you can see the difference in the shape how all this relax now you're gonna have to learn to read horn tubules right you see the lines going down I like these striped hooves because they really show you what's going on with the horn tubules okay so we're, for this we're just gonna I'm gonna fall eh, that's the wrong one wait a minute okay this won't be too good, but I'm going to generally follow the shape of the foot here. Hopefully I won't make a big booger. There's the bulb. Now we're going to go over the hairline. Okay, there's the original shape. This is the heel right here, starts here and goes to here. Okay, now we're going to follow this shape. Once she trimmed it. tender on cement and she did give him butte for five days um, and on the sixth day he was sound and this is the shape this is how his foot changed kind of dark okay the bulb. Let's go around the hairline here. See that? How that just straightened that whole foot out. Now <clears throat> we're going to look at the horn tubules, the difference in the horn tubules here and how this area changed and moved. As I said, if uh, da -da -da -da. let's do this here okay now let's use a curly one okay here's where this horn tubule we're gonna look at this piece of hoof wall here that is white pigmented in between the black because there you can really see how this was pushing up into here and causing a crack Just a minute. Okay. So we're going to follow that horn tubule right down to there. Little curb there. Alrighty. Okay. Then this starts up here. Goes down like that. Do you see that? How that's all smooshed together there? Okay. Then six days later, let's take a look at it. Let's see. Can't hardly see, but it's I'm trying to tell here, maybe I should have gone down to here, but I'm pretty sure that this is the hairline up here. It's just that it's all dark and shadowy right here. So we're gonna go down to here. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Just a minute gonna go down to here and follow this down again and then go over to here follow it down again well that's not right start here where I can see it good see there how that straightened up more in fact the whole foot just has better form and this uh, arch weird 
way the foot was sitting changed in six days so that the horse was sitting flat. There you go. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. Because the, the foot was starting to go back into place. All right, so we'll explain why all that happens and how sometimes when you do these corrective trims because the foot is not right to begin with and the horse, you know, he, he develops things in the foot to try and stabilize the distortion that's going on. And even though he may not seem sore, there's internal damage going on in the foot. And his foot ain't going to be right. So sometimes when you take off certain things, they're going to be tender. Because everything's got to move back into place. But it shouldn't be uh, to where they're crippled or... Uh, you know, so can't even walk. If you if if that's going on, then you did something really wrong. Because the trims I do do not make the horses so they cannot walk. Okay. Anyway, I just want to explain that to you. That after a few days, this horse here, this wall here, would relax and be bear be weight bearing. All right. If you, uh, see, I can look at the side of the hoof here, and I can see how because it was long, was causing, now this foot's trimmed, but it was causing some ridges right in here. Okay. All right, so this will all be explained. May look like that right now. But in a few days, it'll be like that and flatten out. And this area here will, right here, it's going to move back and kind of raise up a little to support the balls. All right. Okay, so... This horse was trimmed for a long time, too, with square pillars right here, making the foot more round than oval. <clears throat> See how it's oval? So this area stuck out. So this area right here, you see this rim of sole here that's in the toe? That should be going clear on into here. Now, when you correct this pillar area by relieving it so everything can move back in the way it's supposed to, <clears throat> then you're going to get this same rim of sole that you got here around over to this pillar area. Because what it's happened is the wall here has been pulled out by the pillar and thinned the sole that should be right here, filling this up. So once you get the pillar area right, it's going to straighten up the sole from here to here, and you're going to find that you have a thick rim of sole, ridge of sole, around the foot right here. See, right now it's very thin, because in truth, the wall is pulled out here from the internal foot. Even though it looks all nice and round, that isn't the way it started out. Okay, it started out more like this foot here. See how this area right here is actually pulled out from the foot. So what we're doing in this trim that I've been doing, and I've been seeing awesome results of sole, thick, thick sole around the whole perimeter of the foot here, just like you do in a wild horse. Okay, what we're doing, we're correcting the pillar here. So when I trimmed this foot, I trimmed it according to the shape of the internal foot, not according to what I was taught. When people said the foot is round, and every picture I've ever seen of a toe is round, like that. 
Okay, but the internal foot is not round. See there? Is that round? No. Okay, so anyway, I just want to explain that. Why that looks a little odd right now. See what I set that up? Okay, it's because this area is distorted right in here. From here to here where the pillar was, it was long and out like this. Okay, now we've relieved it. And so now it's going to correct the rest of the foot. 